While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. Begging for scraps. Marvel news for you. In Marvel news, the gentleman we had on yesterday, T Stream's name was Brandon Avery. Y'all go check out his channel, subscribe to it. He was telling us that one of his most anticipated movies is Shang Chi being produced by Marvel. Well, there was some leak set footage of them filming Shane Chi, and you know your boy got it. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Somebody was in the cut with their cell phone, apparently. You better believe it. You better believe it. And they came and delivered us some good footage. So what you seen there, um, from what they're saying on the webs, because I've never followed or read Shang-Chi by Marvel. Yeah. But the main thing that was the takeaway from, did y'all see the dude that stepped out of the, the building with the black suit on? He's okay. supposed to be one of the main villains in the story. Mm -hmm. And okay. they're saying that that background is probably going to be cgi so you know oh, where okay. you can see all, all the steps and the crane, that's gonna be CGI. Um, either one of you guys ever heard of Shang-Chi, interested in Shang-Chi. Um, when, when leaks like this happen, it just makes me wonder what's going on. So mm -hmm. Larry, I'm gonna give this one to you first. You know a lot about this. What do you think we can deduce from someone leaky Shang-Chi? I mean, it... You know, honestly, part of me almost feels like it might have been an inside job to leak this out because I don't think a lot of people really followed him in the comics. I don't think he had, he doesn't have the same cachet, even amongst comic book fans that some of the other larger characters have. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I think that maybe leaking something like this just to see that there's a Marvel leak out is something <laughs> I think that will try and generate some interest in him. And we'll just we'll see what comes of it. I mean, I like you, like you. I didn't I didn't read Shang Chi in the con, you know, when I was a kid. So I just I'm I'm not gonna say I'm real familiar with them, you know. So for my enthusiasm level for you know, is just uh, I mean, it's a Marvel movie, so I'm sort of excited there's gonna be a new Marvel movie. But I'm not like it's not like I'm super excited for this particular movie. Maybe once I see the uh, you know maybe once I see the trailer for it or something, I'll feel differently. But mm -hmm. You know, I think this might have been a, an intentional leak to try and generate some some buzz because there's nothing in there that you're showing that's really giving anything away. Right. It's just sort of like, oh, here's a leak from a new Marvel movie, yada, yada, yada. Some of the fanboys will get excited and, and spread it around. Hey, but, I'm one of them. I just ain't wear the hat today. <laughs> it came out the door. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm one of them, bro. I, was, I, I right. had to know something. T-Stream, what you think about the leaky? Man, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to be quite frank on this, man. I never even heard of. I never. Would you Quang Chi? Shang Chi, man. Shang, <laughs> Shang Chi. <laughs> Kim Jong Un. They all the same, huh? <laughs> yeah. The closest I got to that was Shang Tsung from, from Mortal Kombat. So, I, man, I, I had no clue. I'm gonna have to uh, look it up and 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 check it out. Uh, I'm assuming that that's that's old uh because right now uh, a lot of the film studios sort of been closed down for a few weeks now and stopped filming unless you know um, unless somebody sort of bent you know been in the rule book a little bit um you know when they when you say a marvel film is is coming out you know it's always natural to get a little bit excited because they they tend to do pretty good on their, they tend to be do pretty good on their movies Mm -hmm. uh, but man, I have, I've never <laughs> heard of that guy. I don't know if he fly or if he runs, uh, if he, if he plays with guns, if he disappeared, uh, what the hell does he do? t string. the man name is Shang-Chi. So, you know, he do some kind of karate, karate. Kung Fu or something. <laughs> okay. He up in there doing something with his hands and his feet. Yeah. 
So we'll, 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 we'll have to see. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to check it, I'm gonna have to check it out. I can't promise that that I'll be a loyal follower of it um, because I, I never even. And man, as far as I, I can remember, dealing with cartoons and 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 Marvel all the way back when I was a little kid, when when comic books collection was the thing to do back in the you know in the. 80s and stuff like that i still never heard of that dude mm. well i got something that you both can relate to in right. terms of marvel this is this final the final piece of marvel we're going to cover today i want you guys to take a look at this graphic right here these are all the mcu movies that are going to drop in 2020 you're talking we're going to get five movies and they're stars by blade mm. because we're not sure if that's the movie that's going to be in October, but a lot of speculators are saying that it's Blade. And mm. of this list right here, we're looking at fellas. And I'll start with you, T Streams. Which one of these, name two of these movies that you're most anticipating? Man, the off the top has got to be Doctor Strange. Okay. Um, after that, I would probably give a strong second to Black Panther 2. As long as they're not changing it up, okay, okay. As long as they're as as they not changing it up, if they're keeping it, this the, you know, with the same, you know, same actors and and on a different mission and stuff like that, then I'm with it. If they get the, if they get to the tampering with something that's not broke, then um, I'm an unhappy camper. Larry, your two most anticipated from this list. Man, I have to say. This and this hurts me not to say Black Panther too, but man, I'm actually looking forward to Doctor Strange and and Blade. But mm. Mm. I'll tell you, man. I honestly, when I look at where they positioned Black Panther two, mm -hmm. it makes me think like if they've already started filming this, that their studio execs have looked at the dailies and thought that it wasn't that strong. Because I'm thinking like they're putting it at May sixth, and then like two months later they're putting captain marvel 2 out i'm thinking even like july 8th i'm thinking for captain marvel 2 i'm thinking they need to they need to either that one's week two but they need to move that up to right before the july 4th holiday like if the if if black panther 2 was a strong movie if it looked like it was going to be strong they should have put that probably like right around the christmas holiday or moved it to where the July 4th holiday was for Captain Marvel 2. So I'm thinking that script is real weak. I wouldn't say that because what Marvel tends to do, Marvel tends to put their biggest blockbusters, release them either the last week of April or around the first week of May. So that tells me that they're making this a flagship movie. However, on that list, these are basically all sequels except for Blade. Right. Of, that well, Blade, of that entire list, fellas, only had two three Blades already. Only two of those movies made a billion dollars the first time. Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Now, a lot of us don't know how the hell Captain Marvel made a billion dollars, but hey, it did. And yeah. personally, I think Thor Ragnarok was a better movie, but it didn't make a billion dollars. It made a good money, but it didn't make a billion. And it was released around November. Mm -hmm. Thor so, Ragnarok was solid. That was a it, that it was, was a great great, movie. It, it was a great movie. It was a yeah. it was a damn good movie. The you only ask, did you follow this more? When are they going to come out with another Guardians? Um, they pushed that back to twenty twenty three. No, twenty twenty three, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, they did pushed they? That, they pushed that one back to twenty twenty three, and it's supposed to be a pretty good Guardians because. There, you know, Thor is going to have a scene in that movie. Right. He's not going to be fat Thor anymore, or anything like that. He's going to have some trials and tribulations in the movie. As a matter of fact, Guardians was supposed to come out before Thor, but because of what's going on with the virus and moving things back, they're going to wind up having to release that before they do Guardians because they had to stop the Guardians filming because they had issues with the director. Now he's back, that type of thing. So well, that's it's gonna what I was going to ask you about too. Are they because what's his name? Batista was saying, "I'm not coming back if they don't have the, if they don't bring that director back." I can't remember his name, but he was Gunn. like, "I'm not coming back if this dude doesn't come back." James Gunn is the director. He's coming okay. back. 
He's coming back. And Batista's coming back too. So um, I, the, the only problem I got with that schedule, I do think they need to push Captain Marvel, not July. And the reason why I say that is because if Black Panther 2 does as well as the first one, it's going to have legs for longer than just eight weeks. It's going to have yeah. legs for like 12 weeks. Yeah. So they, they should be thinking about pushing Captain Marvel until August. They had Black Panther in the theater when when I think when um when Infinity uh, War came Infinity out. Infinity War came out. Yep. And it was still making money. It was making money up until the week of Infinity War. And you remember Infinity War came out the first week of May. So that's right. why I say it's a good thing that Black Panther is in May because now they're saying it is a flagship of the movies we make. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, then maybe I just didn't understand the way Marvel does their their releases. That's cool. I'm happy for that. Then. Yeah, man. I'm happy for that. Yeah. Then I, I think a lot of I think uh, this um, this Doctor Strange two is going to do a lot better than one because of the role that Doctor Strange played in the uh, other two previous movies, and mm -hmm. so that that sort of built his stock up. And so, you know, because they they actually had him sort of they had him pretty, pretty bad. And so um, I think that in this case, the second one will definitely do a lot more than the than the original one. What I don't understand is why they push everything back to 2022. Like like they like we just not going to have 2021. Do they do they know anything that we don't know about? I mean, man, they must do. They these people is planning. Um, Black Widow, they you know they pushed her back to November, which is when they was planning on dropping. Um, God, what was they gonna drop? I think they was gonna drop Doctor Strange in November. Yeah. And they and they pushed Black Widow back to November, and I think that what they're feeling is just simple as this, because the speculators are saying coronavirus is gonna ebb and it might flow again in the fall. Oh, I think they're just taking precautions that they don't have to, you know, make last minute moves to push movies away when the fall comes. That's what I think they're doing. Well, um, part of that, that, that's part of it. But the other part, too, is, is that you have these you have I mean, like uh, like Black Widow was already done. She, that movie was finished. And so mm -hmm. and with the exception of them, maybe having to shoot some pickup scenes, which I don't think they did. I think it was really already finished. But for some of these other movies where they're not done yet, you have these actors that have, you know, that have, uh, you know, have other contractual obligations where they have other movies that have to get made and are already scheduled. And so if they have movies that are scheduled for throughout 2021, it's not like Marvel can just say, hey, you still owe us this movie. They're like, hey, yeah, I did owe it. But we also agree that this movie was going to be made between November and February. And that time has come and gone, so I'm still willing to do the work, but it's just going to have to happen after these other these other movies that I'm making. So mm -hmm. I think that, I mean, there's a lot of scheduling that has to go into these things, and I think that's probably a lot of the reason why these movies are getting pushed back. Most likely so, but you guys can always tune to this channel for the latest and greatest in Marvel movie and TV show news.